Hello all, in this video I want to show a solution how you can to tune your ensemble of machine learning models and this solution could, he could help you to increase a performance of your ensemble of machine learning model and uh, let's go uh, straight forward to apply it in binary classification problem. So first of all I need uh, to load my data, it is my X and I and uh, let's take a quick look and X is my some kind of tabular data and I is um, one or zero, it is classification problem, that means uh, positive and negative class and that's all, it's nothing special right here. And the next thing what I need to do is uh, initiate uh, my classifiers the first one it will be a linear regression, the next one it will be a random forest, it is RF, and the last one it will be a DT, it is a decision tree. And uh, what I need to do to uh, perform these classifiers is to uh, import it from scikit-learn, and this is a logistic regression, it is a random forest classifier, and here is it a decision tree classifier. So logistic regression is going to be right here, um, yeah, right here, and then random forest is going to be also on RF and right here, and decision tree classifier is going to be right here beside DT. Okay, let's put some random um, hyperparameters in each of our classifiers and for example on logistic regression uh, solver it will be a lip linear let's say a random state it will be equal to one and then on random forest classifiers let's say max features um, okay it will be a none then n jobs it will be equal to four and then random state it will be equal also to one and then on decision tree classifier let's say criterion it will be equal to entropy then max features it will be equal to square root and let's check if no errors it's in here and logistic regression is not defined. Um, logistic, uh, um, yeah, logistic, okay. I just fix quickly this um, uh, classifier and here is no errors and I have uh, successfully defined my classifiers is uh, logistic regression, random forest and decision tree. Okay, let's go and what I need to uh, build right now is to create an ensemble of uh, my three classifiers and for this I'm using a voting classifier, it is VC and voting classifiers could be imported also from scikit-learn it is a voting classifier I put it in VC and uh, in here I need to initiate my classifiers into the list it is the list and this is the space for the first one for the second one and for the last one so the first one is uh, classifier number one here is a classifier number two um, and here is a classifier number three and classifier number one is my linear regression is coming from here and then the second one is a random forest is uh, right here and the last one is a decision tree it's DT is coming here and then what I need to do is to make a cross validation I need to get a cross validation score cross validation score and it can be also imported from scikit-learn and uh, what I need to do is from scikit-learn model se uh, selection import cross validation score 
um, something wrong. Uh, what link, uh, ah, I make this mistake. Okay, it's no error in my importing. And in cross validation score, what you need to put is my voting classifier and then X and I data. And what you need to get is the average value of my cross validation. Uh, voting classifier. Just fix quickly this thing. Yeah. And what is the mean? Uh, value of my cross validation score yeah it's 0 0.92 okay looking not so bad but the main question how we can to increase the performance so let's go further next thing what you need to do is to define a voting classifier um, parameters um, to to search and how we can do it we are using a grid search uh, cross validation uh, method and we need to look the best uh, combination across the parameters like this the voting let's say it can be equal to hard and soft so uh, don't skip uh, the rest uh, part of this video in the bonus part i will clearly explain what is the difference of hard and soft and how they are executing behind the scenes so the next parameter what we can to uh, look the be best combination is weights and here's the weights of uh, uh, our classifier in our ensemble for example, one, one, and one. That means that all our classifiers in our ensemble are in the same weight. They also uh, equal. The next combination can be a two, one, and one. That means that the linear regression uh, should be uh, double uh, more meaningful than uh, random forest and decision tree. Uh, so the next combination could be a uh, one, two, and one. That means our random forest uh, classifier in our ensemble are the most important. And the last combination could be a one, one, and two. Here we define all the combination of our hyperparameters. We are looking into voting and to weights in this example. So let's enter it. And what in what we need to do lastly is to find the best set of parameters yeah parameters yeah okay and uh, for this we need to initiate a grid search cross validation and grid search cross validation also could be imported from secret learn grid search uh, see we yeah let's execute okay it's no error in here and also no errors in here should be also okay and so in grid search validation we uh, uh, we need to set our voting classifier and then a parameters that we had to define just before and that's it next we are fitting uh, our grid for in our data x and i and across this uh, grid that is applied in our data we need to get a best parameters uh, uh, across our selection how we can we do it it's a grid and we select the best parameters params yeah <laughs> let's wait a couple of seconds and how it will be okay and the best combination is voting it's a hard it is working the best and uh, the weight it will be a one to one that means that random forest is the most important classifier across our ensemble okay and the last thing 
is to get to know what accuracy is now we had a uh, zero nine one nine 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 and what accuracy we are getting right now and then grid best score and let's see if we increase the score or not okay and we got a zero point nine three one we increased our score in almost two percent or or one point five percent we had a zero point ninety one nine 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 and now we're having zero point nine three one it's a a little bit higher and we achieved our goal so congratulations with that so this is a bonus part of this video and in here i want you to introduce about the soft and hard voting and soft and hard voting are being uh, implemented in grid search so we in our video and let's start with what is the soft voting and soft voting and where it's a probability term coming that takes the average of probabilities for each class and then uses to classify the test instance and how it look like and for example we are having uh, one two three uh, four examples and the first probability is 0 0.6 second is 0 0.6 and third one is 0 0.6 and the last one is 0 0.1 and uh, how it being calculated the voting and it is a uh, 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 and 0 0.1 we need to sum it up into one total value and then we need to divide by the number of examples and in our situation we are dividing the total uh, value by 4 and the final result is 0 0.475 that's mean that predicted class is 0 okay so what is the hard voting it's a little bit different so the voting classifier counts the number of each class instance and then assign to a test instance a class that was voted by majority of the classifiers and for example we having the same examples and uh, it is 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 and 0 0.1 is exactly the same as we had on the soft voting and uh, as you can see from each of our examples we have uh, directly get predicted class the first one is one second one is one third one is one and the last one is that zero and what is above uh, 0 0.5 is the one and what is below uh, is the zero so you can see that the majority is one that means that based on the hard voting algorithm the predicted class is the one this is the main differences between soft voting and hard voting you can see some examples on official uh, secret learn documentation but this uh, example is uh, one of the most clearest for me so i really hope that it will be useful for you also so that's finally all for this video and never stop learning so see you on the next video